Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in Central Africa, at an encampment of armed groups. A group of mercenaries hiding is revealed. Suddenly, the group attacks, and a gunfight breaks out. The goons manage to take down numerous targets, and their leader is stopped, so he cannot call for help. The protagonist, Max finds himself in the middle of hand-to-hand -hand combat, against two enemy soldiers. In the end, he manages to fatally wound them with his machete. Their commander, Leclerc informs them that they will have to defeat more such encampments in the coming days. Next, they are in the Iraqi area, and on their way to a new settlement to carry out their second attack. Max, being one of the best members of the assassination group, runs first and positions himself on a small hill, with his rifle. After a few moments, a bomb explodes, and the group of assassins drives up and starts shooting. The enemies manage to take a strategic position, and then a gunfight breaks out. Nevertheless, the goon group's discipline and organization allow them to dominate. A goon named Magpie is attacked by an enemy, but she manages to push him and fire numerous shots at him. Meanwhile, Max tries to neutralize the enemies with his rifle. The commander informs Max that some enemies are about to escape, and Max goes to kill them. He enters a sacred place and has to fight again against two enemies, who he manages to kill easily with his knife. The men in the building try to kill him, but Max's skills allow him to dodge the attacks and kill them. Finally, he is attacked by a large man, who is about to strangle him. Max takes the knife and cuts his throat, saying that he will soon meet his god. Max stands up and looks around, seeing 13 men dead on the ground. The commander informs them of the profit earned for this mission, and then they head to a new location, Colombia. In the camp, the hitmen's target is a drug cartel preparing to deliver a large amount of illegal substances. The goons approach slowly, walking through the jungle. They get into position and start shooting, killing the targets easily. Max finds an innocent woman and hesitates to shoot, but suddenly a bomb goes off and he is stunned. The woman runs away, as a soldier tries to catch up with her, and Max follows them. The soldier starts to undress, but Max arrives in time and hits him in the face with his foot. The soldier and Max begin to fight, and Max is cut down. In the process, the woman finds a grenade and detonates it, knocking Max unconscious. The group of goons steals the substance and prepares to leave. The soldier who cut Max down tells the commander that he is dead. The commander doesn't believe this, and orders everyone to search for him, because he is a very important soldier. They find his rifle but no trace of him, but they are running out of time and decide to leave. A few hours later, Max wakes up, his throat wound still bleeding. He gets up and walks around looking confused, not understanding where he is. He keeps walking until he reaches a village at night. An old man finds him and takes him to his house. The man reveals that he is a priest, and has been taking care of Max, giving him clothes and first aid. The priest offers him a tour to show him around, and takes him to the church. The priest asks him to clean the church to repay his favor. After cleaning in the church, the priest approaches and invites him to dinner, telling him he cannot refuse. Later that evening, Max meets the priest's helpers and eats with them. Unfortunately, he cannot speak because of his throat wound, but he writes his name on a piece of paper. The priest considers that he is hiding something, and that their meeting is not a coincidence. The next day, Max sweeps through the house and finds a rifle. The priest finds it and reveals that it was the weapon of a now dead priest, who hunted animals and shared them with people in the village. The priest then leaves, inviting him into the church for mass. Max introduces himself and listens to the priest's words. Later that evening, they have dinner together again, and they are joined by Father Tiago. The next day, Father Tiago says that he suspects that Max is a dangerous person. The priest listens to him, and says that his appearance could probably be scary. So the priest gives Max the uniform of a real priest, to prevent him from intimidating the villagers. Next day, a frightened woman runs to the church and asks Max for help, thinking he is a priest. Father Tiago says that he is not a real priest, and takes the woman away to help her. Soon after, two men enter the church to search for the girl. Max remains silent, and the men begin to behave threateningly. They ask him for something to eat, and Max goes to the kitchen to get food. Father Chago says they have to kick them out, and the priest offers to go talk to them, but Max has the situation under control. He returns to the church with the food, and the men make fun of him, saying he stinks. He keeps his cool, and then the men leave. One morning, the priest says he wants to introduce a special person he trusts, and wants him to share his thoughts. Father Chago steps forward, and the priest says Max's name, surprising everyone. The priest is proud of Max, because he stood up to the men, who are part of a drug cartel. Most importantly, he did it without using violence. Just then, inside, 
those two evil men come in to take the girl from yesterday. Max stops them and makes a little speech about violence, saying that these men carry guns because they are insecure. The two laugh and try to attack him, but Max knocks them out in a few moments. He then apologizes to the priest. The people are amazed and ask Max to teach them what he knows. Later, Max chops wood while listening to the priest's words. The old man says Max should teach the people how to defend themselves, but Max points out that he does better on offense than defense. The priest says that God would want people to help each other, and Max becomes convinced that he should teach others to defend themselves. The two men Max beat up return to their boss, who reveals he is Commander Leclerc. The two say that one is a simple priest, and then they see a group photo of soldiers, including Max. The other soldiers say Max died in battle, nevertheless, they did not find his body, and now they are in trouble. Leclerc, however believes that they are lying because, Max would have killed them mercilessly. But Leclerc does not know that Max is now a different person, and has changed his priorities. Meanwhile, Max teaches the villagers to fight. Father Chago asks Max about his past, and apologizes for misjudging him before really getting to know him. At that moment, Leclerc enters the church and is surprised to find Max alive, and dressed as a priest. Leclerc reveals to the priests Max's terrifying past, and how many people he has killed, including women and children. The commander adds that he was his best assassin. By beating those two men, Max broke a rule, and now two villagers must die to make peace. The priest tries to negotiate without putting innocent victims in the middle, but to no avail. Leclerc proposes a deal, he will leave them alone if Max agrees to have dinner with him tonight, to set the record straight. Max goes to his room to get his things and leave. The priests follow him to convince him to stay, because he is a different person now. He saved the poor girl's life, and proved that he is no longer the monster he used to be. In the end, Max decides to stay, but he still goes to talk to Leclerc, to find out what he needs. Max meets his old comrades, who laugh when they see him dressed as a priest. After verifying that he had no weapons on him, they let him in. Leclerc invites him to eat and drink, but Max says he is not hungry. Max asks him what he wants, and the commander invites him to rejoin the team. He apologizes to the men he beat up, but he has no intention of being a hitman again, because he is a different person now. He says he will leave the village, but Leclerc must promise to leave the villagers alone. The commander is annoyed but promises that he will not touch the innocent. Nevertheless, as soon as Max leaves, Leclerc tells the others that he will take care of him. Max returns home and tells the priests that he must leave for their safety. At that moment, Leclerc and his team arrive. The men start beating Max and then crucify him. The commander and the rest of the group go outside, and start shooting into the priest's house. In the process, Max manages to free himself and comes outside, while the group of goons drives away. Fortunately, the priests are still alive, and save Max's life, leading him to safety. Max wakes up the next day, and the priest tells him that two people have died, and the church is destroyed. Nevertheless, the priest says, they will rebuild the church, but Max warns him that he cannot return, because the goons will kill them. Father Chago reveals that the villagers are either forced to work with the goons, or they are killed. Max feels guilty, but the priest tells him that the fact that he survived means he has a mission from God. At that moment, Max realizes that he must use his abilities, and do what he can to defeat evil. Father Chago brings Max a rifle, and he begins to train hard. One day, some goons find the priest's camp in the jungle, and pay a visit. The priest offers them food, but the men shoot them without any mercy. Max returns to the camp and finds the priest's dead body. He bursts into tears, and now wants only one thing, revenge. Max puts on his priest's uniform and picks up his rifle. Some cartel members enter a bar, and Max watches them from some distance. He loads his rifle and starts shooting. After that, he enters the bar and beats the men to death. He then approaches the bartender and has a drink. He goes outside and finds himself surrounded by several men. He defeats them one by one, as if nothing had happened. Leclerc is informed that someone has killed nine of his men, and realizes that the only one capable of this is Max. Leclerc's assistant points out to him that he could have killed him when he had the chance but did not. Two cars full of goons are on Max's heels and arrive in town. Max surprises them and hands over his rifle by raising his hands. The men are confused, then Max starts beating them to death one by one. As more reinforcements arrive, Max sets a trap. Leclerc arrives and says Max will be long gone by now. Magpie finds a cross at a goon's collar, and when she throws it, a grenade explodes, killing her. Max appears and starts shooting at them with his rifle. Leclerc promises a sum of money for Max's head, motivating the others even more. Later, 
Leclerc and his men arrive at a bar and plan their moves. Max suddenly appears again, and tells two cartel members that he wants to surrender. Leclerc is informed by his men that they are bringing Max to him, but the commander orders him to be killed immediately. Max kills all the men in the car, and then breaks the glass to kill the remaining ones. He takes a grenade launcher and shoots his old comrade, who almost killed him in the past. He then takes the machine gun, and kills the hitman. Soon after, another goon arrives, puts down the weapon, and takes the knife. The two begin knife fights, and Max finally manages to kill him by plunging the knife into his heart. After killing Leclerc's men, he goes to him, the final boss. He manages to shoot him in the stomach, but then he has to take care of his guards, who he kills easily. Leclerc takes a sword and fights Max, who has a knife. Leclerc seems to have the upper hand against Max, and even manages to knock him to the ground. Max gets back up, and they continue to fight. Finally, Max manages to get the upper hand, and kills Leclerc, stabbing him repeatedly in the heart. He then goes outside and returns to the church, where he meets Father Thiago, who suggests that he enjoy and live his life. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.